Breast Screen Victoria is part of the National Breast Cancer Screening Program. We invite women aged 50 to 69 to attend every two years for a screening mammogram. We screen around 200,000 women a year. We have eight regional screening and assessment centres across Victoria. We have over 40 screening sites and we also operate two mobile screening services. The mobile unit moves around Victoria, regional Victoria. We cover more than 20 sites. We screen 42 ladies a day. We decided we wanted to investigate how we could use digital technology in um, a screening program such as Breast Screen Victoria. So we decided to embark on a project which we called the Rural Broadband Digital Mammography Project. Previously the program had been using analogue technology where we were taking um, our mammograms on film just as you would at home with your cameras. You used to use film cameras and now you use digital cameras. The films needed to be sent out to the assessment centres so we needed couriers. We didn't actually see those x-rays so we were screening blind. It's been interesting because in the old days uh, as a radiologist I had no direct uh, connection with the van. Uh, the films would be uh, performed on the van and we would see them uh, many days later. That's changed completely with the digital mammography project. This project actually involved uh, trialling uh, digital mammography on a van at original sites and then transferring digital images electronically to an assessment site. Next year provides us the essential connectivity that we require. We save time, we don't have to have the couriers with Next G. The images go through like an email. With digital technology and Next G, we're able to ask those women to come back to the mobile van and have some further images taken there. We call it a step-down clinic because for the vast majority of women who have a screening mammogram, their results will be normal. A small percentage of women will need to have extra views to reach that conclusion. We now work as a team. I'll be in contact with the radiographer on the van to let them know what extra pictures to take. They'll be sent down while we're at the assessment clinic where we can wait for the images, determine whether they're normal or abnormal. Most of the time the results are normal, so I can then speak to the woman directly to give her her results and send her on her way. Now some of the places we go to, it's quite some distance from the assessment centres, so it saves those women all the stress of having to go down to the assessment centres. So what has taken maybe a half hour of that woman's day compares with, uh, in the old days, a 10 hour round trip. The ladies are impressed with the technology and they're impressed with the mobility of the van. They're always very appreciative when we come into their areas out in the country. The van usually moves to various locations. Sometimes it's there for two weeks or sometimes it's there for a few months. It used to take at least six weeks of planning or preparation time. Now as soon as we pull into a site and we have the electricity put on, NextG functions straight away so we can work straight away. With the NextG it's a piece of cake, you just have a wireless connectivity wherever the van moves, it has a point of presence and uh, makes our life a lot easier. <laughs>